Howdy, folks. Creepy Kentucky in here. And I'm Uncle Bill. Y'all ready to party? I'm ready to rock for you party. Rock out with my you-know-what out. Right. And uh, Vinegar Syndrome halfway to Black Friday Bulls is happening later tonight. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Tonight, tonight, yes. Uh -huh. mm, yeah, but you know, what do you do? When your asshole itches, yeah, what do you do, Uncle Bill? What do you do? Mm -hmm. What would you do uh, for a Klondike bar, yes? Mm, when my asshole itches, I go to some preparation H. So that's what we're doing. I got some preparation for the vinegar syndrome sale because I don't even remember what the fuck this sale was called that we got in this shit. Labor Day sale or something. I don't yeah. I have no idea. Remember when Vinegar Syndrome just had one sale or two yes. sales a year? They need to go back to that because it's aggravating. Oh, now. that's another holiday. Balls. We're going what they need sale. to do. Look, this is what they need to do, honestly. Just like every couple months, have a $10 sale on the shit they're trying to get rid of, right? And then just have one big sale other than that. But they don't need to be having these all these goddamn holiday sales constantly. Yeah, and all these flash oh, pre sales. Um, but since Uncle Bill got robbed of his vinegar syndrome package last week, Shit. I wanted to make him feel better and he can see me open my package on here and that's going to make me feel a lot better. We'll, we'll, uh, you know, get ready for the halfway to, uh, no, it's, the, this is the black Friday flash pre-sale. Yes. Get it that's right. What, that's what we're going to have to do. We're actually going to have to fucking sing it. Uncle Bill. We're going to have to say, Flash, free sale, mm -hmm. the biggest sale in the universe. That's it. That's, That's it. All, yeah. all right. But um, yeah, I've got the legendary Coralina Cataldi box cutter in hand, and we are going to mutilate this box almost like Lucio Fulci mutilated some boxes in New York Ripper. But <laughs> That's a hell of a comparison, yeah. No, let's, let's do see, it. See what we got here, because to be honest with you, I'm getting as bad as Garrett. I can't remember anything in a fucking order. Hmm. I do remember ordering a shirt now, because I see a shirt down in here. God damn it! I ordered two shirts. I didn't get either one of them because somebody stole them. I'll get to wear it tonight on the show. I've never had a vinegar syndrome shirt before, though, so I don't know if they're made good or if they're made like pure pure trunch. Trunch. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I think these are good. These are the the soft softies, softy shirts. And this is our color, Uncle Bill, green. That looks lovely. What shirt did you order, by the way? That, that I ordered two of them, motherfucker. What ones were they? <laughs> I don't honestly even remember now. One of them was just like that, but it was a different color. That fucking shit, sharp man. I like it. It's real thin, like too, so it'll have some stretch. I'm glad that you like it. The back of it says vinegar syndrome on it as well. So I want to be wearing that later on tonight. Do you like what you see? I like my shirt. Do you like what I like, you see? I like my shirt. Yeah, so these shirts were, what, $12? Is that how much they were? Something like that, yeah. I can't remember because mine got stolen. So I'll be putting that on a little bit later tonight for the uh, flesh pre-sale. I got a couple of smaller packages here. And I like how they individually wrap this stuff in uh, these little wrappers, these uh, cellophane, baby. Wow. Okay, this is pretty neat. I didn't know they were in cases like this. That is really cool. I don't know how in the hell they made these. Did you ever get any of those cassettes from Vinegar Syndrome? I did, yeah. So they're like mini clamshell VHS cases which you can't really yeah. feel there but that is really cool how they did that i didn't know they had those so blood harvest and demon wind which i let some demon wind off every morning when i get up he does oh uh, damn and i don't to be honest with you i don't really have a cassette deck but i was thinking about powering let's see if i can get this thing out 
getting oh. some batteries for this thing and hooking it up to my player. See, I found this recently at a Goodwill. Holy shit. And uh, listening to some of these soundtracks because Blood Harvest, I only have like a song or two on vinyl that has the Marvelous Mervo song. Have you ever seen this movie, by the way? Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this movie quite a bit, but it is bad. All right, so there's that. You know what you never see anymore at What's like that? Goodwills or anything? Like, Boom boxes, like the big, you know, carry style boom boxes, like they used to have. Well, that's because those things are worth a fortune. Are they really? I think so. Yeah. I'd like to have one. Phantasmat says pretty soon you're going to see a full vinegar syndrome table at the flea market. I think Sabrin's already setting up at some flea markets. I think he's talking about like with my shit on it. Oh, out here. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot. What the fuck are you doing now? All right, so I've got four more titles. Four more titles, shove them all up your ass one by one, and piece of shit. But you quit being mean to me now. I'm nice to you. Yeah. Let's see. All these are DVDs aside from one 4K. Um, nice. And these DVDs were five bucks a pop. Runaway Nightmare. Runaway Nightmare never going she, back. She's a little runaway nightmare. <laughs> Run away. The drive-in collection with Executioner Part 2 and Frozen Scream. <laughs> Shit. And In Search of Bigfoot and Cry Wilderness. It's a Bigfoot double feature. You gotta cry wilderness. And I swear to you, man, these are the only Vinegar Syndrome DVDs that I have. These three. I don't have yep. any other Vinegar Syndrome DVDs. I got some DVD too, but they're bloody fucking got stolen. <laughs> well, possession is nine tenths of law, so you ain't got shit, buddy. Fuck yeah. you. I know. And the last one I knew I had to get because this thing is going out of print. Uh, it's almost sold out. And man, the uh, the cover lives up to the hype, boys. And that is Blade in the Dark. Look at that. One fucking killer cover. It's a blade in the dark. Yeah, that, that package is probably... It's going to end up in my top three releases of the year, I would say. Packaging of the year, possibly. Yep. Yeah, because I've never seen one diagonal packaging there. and I just watched this movie not too long ago. And we did do it's a commentary a good movie. over. It's a good goddamn movie. So, um... It's not and as good I, as Macabre, though. I think that this one is still available in very, very low numbers. So if you get anything tonight and it's still on there, you may want to pick it up. So this one was out of print there for probably, what, 15, 16 years. Yeah, somebody said US. it was like down, like, this was a week ago. It was down to like 300 or something like that. So I can imagine what it's at right now. Yeah. But yeah, that is my uh, unpackaging. I didn't spend a whole lot of money uh, as usual, these sales, because most of this stuff, man, I really just don't want it. Uh, you know, even the, uh, what was, they had like a crazy sale on, was it the televised terror set for $39.99 or something like that? I still yep. didn't get it. And I kind of regret it. I should have got that one, but it's, you know who did? You know who did want it though? Oh, some goddamn holler rats up here and crack them all. They wanted it. Did they? Did they steal your copy? They were like, "Oh my god, look here! There's some boxes. I'm gonna steal them because I'm a piece of shit." Dude. <laughs> I watch Andy Lee's meat pie so bad. I'm gonna be a thief and take it. I just like taking shit that ain't mine because I'm a fucking asshole. Anyway, anyway, here's what I want to do now, though. I want to read. Do? I want to read this to you, and I want you to take a guess and speculate about what you think these titles might be. Are you ready? So this is Vinegar Syndrome's press release for the 2023 Black Friday Flash pre-order. Hmm. It says, our next VSU, another Paramount Classic. So it's a Paramount Classic hmm. now. Along hmm. with three out of five of our November Vinegar Syndrome titles will be unveiled at this pre-order. This will include our Mammoth 
10 film box set, which we can assure you will be our most ambitious collection ever and the first of its kind in the history of home video and well worth the wait. So what the fuck? Number one, let's start with what would be a Paramount classic that Vinegar Syndrome would do? Didn't oh. say it was a horror classic, did they, or did they? No, it didn't say anything really other than it was just a Paramount classic, and it's a VSU. Well, it's going to, that would have to be something more well known, then, if it's a VSU, you would think. Yeah. So, I mean, really, it could be anything. I mean, what's some big Paramount movies that have yet to receive a 4K? Uh, I mean, we could talk about the horror ones, but I don't think, like, even something like April Fool's Day, I don't think that that would be that big of a deal. That's what I was thinking, too, but I don't think it would. Yeah. It's probably something like non-genre that people would be kind of excited about, but we're probably not going to give a fuck about it. That's probably true. Okay, so then the other big question is, what would a 10 film box set be? Now this to me is like a red herring almost because you get excited when you hear like 10 film box set, but it could be anything, man. It could be some shitty old like fucking, you know, folk horror goth exploitation let shit. Me, like, let me ask you this. How many uh, children of the corn movies are they? Who the fuck knows? There could be 10 of them. You think they would release like children of the corn, the whole series. That'd be fucking, yeah, they totally Man. would. I want Field of Terror on 4K. The thing, though, that could throw you is, is that if they were going to release a giant kind of series, maybe a couple of the discs would be like bonus discs, too, though. So, like, let's say it had eight actual films, like two bonus discs, and then they would say it was ten film. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. They'd say ten film. Oh, nope. they could do... Mm, I won't say they could do the Howling box set but that wouldn't be close to 10 would it how many howling movies are there i don't know seven which is crazy also um a santo box set that they've been rumored to be working on for ever so that 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 seems like like, yeah yeah that would sound like something maybe that uh they would do but Vinegar Sandra Man and their stuff, they're one of those companies that you're never going to be able to really predict unless something gets out about it, which it may within the next, you know, couple of hours when the when the sale goes live. Right. But um I mean, who knows? We'll probably never be able to predict it. I think the you know, the best case scenario on the Paramount one would be like I think Paramount has um the keep the Michael Mann movie that would be a cool one, yeah, that would be. Uh, that's never been released on anything at all. And the I mean, whenever box, I think of Paramount, the immediate thing that comes to mind is like you know Friday the Thirteenth. You know it's not any of that shit. Never gonna happen though. No. And you know it's not like I mean. And then you like you said April Fool's Day is the other one that immediately comes to mind. I can't think of a whole lot of other shit that they did. And then we're assuming it's a horror film, which is not like. Yeah, oh, I mean, it's, it can be anything, man. It could be um, Bolo Young set, <laughs> but his low-budget action movies. But All right, guys, but I, I guess that is it. Uh, tune in later on tonight. We're going to be joined by Garrett from Born to be Rad and Kenny from mid-level media is joining us for the very first time on one of these shows who's replacing an injured steve which we hope steve's back gets a lot better poor fella yeah he's fucked up pretty bad so uh speedy recovery to uh steve and uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in get ready for later on tonight 11 30 p.m on the mother hip baby here on deadpit.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a fuck. I don't want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Let's keep our community growing here on YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that. Pal. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. 
subscribe. Click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpits.com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on. In addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only $1. We are-